Well, the plan is to play in the, the VHL, which is the Russian Second League, uh, for this upcoming season. Last year, I played uh, for the G League in uh in the VHL. I thought that was a really good league, and uh, I think it's really good for Chinese local player uh, development-wise, because we actually get the chance to to play against these Russian pro hockey players that are uh, better than us, and you know, we get to travel to Russia, and it was such a good experience. But uh, unfortunately, all three VHL teams, the Chinese team, had to uh, cancel the season because of the COVID-19, uh, the pandemic worldwide that really affected us. But now um, uh, all the boys, you know, the, the top of the, the Chinese hockey guys are with the, the Chinese national team. And right now we're just practicing in uh, Shenyang uh, Sports College. Uh, it's, it's not bad either, I think. Uh, actually, no, I, I kind of just dropped out. Yeah, I think, I mean, I played it one year in University of Alabama Huntsville, which is a member of the WCHA and the Division One NCAA uh, hockey. Um, I mean, first of all, that was, it, it, it took a, I think it was a family effort. I sat down with my parents and we kind of discussed the pros and cons of whether coming back to China was a, was a good decision. And uh, I feel like in order for me to better prepare for the 2022 uh, winter game, uh, it's better for me to get more games, uh, especially pro games. And in order to do that, I think coming back to China is it's, it's a better option for me. I know playing D1 hockey is, is great, it sounds awesome, but I mean, I miss the boys back in the US, but that's part of the sacrifice I have to make, right? I sit down, I came back, and I saw all the boys in the national team said, hey, holy, these guys got good in two years, couple years because of, of what they did with the, the VHL, right? They really developed, and I feel like, hey, I have to come back, otherwise I'll, I'll fall behind. Because in the V, because in the NCAA is the competition is really is really is, is is very high. We have 12 defensemen, and you only dress six per game. And I was a freshman; I didn't get that much opportunity. And uh, so I sat down with my parents, and we, we we feel like come to China is 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 the best best opportunity for me. First, it's hard because Chinese hockey and Chinese training, especially, is 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 different than North American hockey. Because in college or even juniors in Canada, you you practice and on your own, right? Like nobody is telling you to, hey, you have to you have to do this, have to do that. It's it's about self control, and having the mental of, of getting better just day, day by day. In China, they really uh, put a heavy uh, sympathize on 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 ice practice. But in North America, off-ice practice, workout is, is really important as well. You have to get big and strong, and that's part of hockey, right? It's a physical game. And so I, I try to motivate my, my teammates in the, in the weight room in the, you know, so we can, we can really do a good job and you know, just get bulky and get big. Yeah, it has to be balanced. Uh, on ice, off ice, what you eat off the ice, what you do in, a, in, in the dorm, it all matters. It's the little thing that, that matters, and you have to pay attention to the details. players are really skilled like honestly there some players are better skilled than NCAA players but a problem I find with a lot of players is they can't really perform in games under high pressure and you can see that with Chinese basketball Chinese soccer other like the team-wise sports is that we get really good fundamental skills uh, but on once under international stage under heavy pressure when the, once the game gets physical every, everyone just gets soft you can't do that. For me, I'm not a skilled guy, but I'm I, like I'm not that big, right? But I'm not afraid to, to play physical. I, I'm willing to hit. I'm willing to take a hit and make a play. Oh, I mean, first of all, I I was born and raised in Beijing, right? And I have such a uh, high passion for for the game of hockey. And in order to play in the Olympics in Beijing, which is my hometown, right, in front of all my friends, my parents especially, uh, you know, I got something to prove that, you know, as a Chinese, as, as, as an Asian, that, you know, we not by be as, as big, as physical, or as skilled as our North American or European opponents, but we, we got the heart, and I really want to play that all in order to show the whole world that what Chinese hockey is about, and it just get, you know, play everything, and just, you know, everything you got, you just got to pour it out on the ice. You know, as a kid growing up in China, you play hockey, that's something you dream of. And especially, like, not a lot of Chinese hockey players gets a chance to play uh, 
uh, in front of a home crowd in a Winter Olympic. So it's really special.